Who does that? Yeah. Apparently Polish does, and now he's going to have to go through Shabo, Champagne, one of Champagne's best Fox players, along with Zamu, Foxy Paxter, PRZ. Man, they've got so many Foxes, but we're starting on FD. Yeah. And this is it, top eight. We need some space too. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, in this matchup, the Foxes basically has to go to FD, Fountain of Dreams, or Dreamland. Mm -hmm. And as the Fox, you're basically saying which stage you're comfortable on. Yeah. Which, even though the Peach likes those stages, it gives you a little bit of a preparation advantage. Too true. And what's interesting is I think a lot of spaces dread this stage against Peach. Of course, we might be seeing some chain grabs. Really nice down tilt from Shabo. But interestingly, all of the Champagne Foxes I just mentioned, Shabo, PRZ, Zamu, Foxy Bowser, they always strike to this stage against Peach. They don't think it's that bad, and they like it in the matchup. Oh my god, he just runs back and up smashes. And I must say, I've commentated a lot of sets today. You have. Um, and Polish has had a rough day. Um, he SD'd many times in winners. Okay. Uh, I mean, he SD'd a few times in losers. He was playing against Grab, but he managed to pull it out. And especially compared to last weekend, playing pretty shaky. But yeah. he's here in top eight. Yeah, he's not out of the tournament quite yet, and he's got this chain grab to, for his sake, hopefully even it up. Shabo will get at least a oh. little more neutral interactions with this stock before going down. Nice DI. Polish was Good able to make it to snipe. winner's quarters of this before losing to Vista. Vista's on quite a tear. Vista yeah. actually beat myself in pools, Luigi Gochard, and Polish in a game five set to get to winner's semis. Yeah, he's on a run. Um, I'd only seen him at House of Pain, but he's mm -hmm. a winner's side top eight. Yeah, this is arguably his best performance that we've seen, so I'm interested to see how he's going to be able to do against Dreffen and winners, but... We are, of course, going to start here in losers. Really tight game one between these guys so far. Yeah, Polish super consistent on the chain grab. We should also mention we are on UCF, which means these dash back grabs are free, which means Shabo consistently DIing behind like that. Not a good idea. We need to be taking ourselves to the center of the stage and getting hit as little far, as not, as not far as possible. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling over here. Ooh, that's the second. Okay, so no DI in the up throw many times by Polish, but he's mm -hmm. getting the SDI. And that's what really matters at the end yeah. of the day. At this point, though, maybe 10, 15 more percent. Even back here will do it. That barely won't, but Get next destroyed. one will. <laughs> I'm getting off the mic. See you guys right, later. <laughs> and another one. Dude, setting Polish it back towards center. with the DI. See how his take recovery's ledge. looking. Take ledge. Doesn't uh, take ledge. Okay. I feel like a lot of people don't do that, though. It's because, like, what is Peach supposed to do off the ledge? Like, she doesn't Fair really enough. have great options. So you let her get there and let her win the neutral interaction from there. Too true. And just as you say that, evened it back up. Yeah. Two stocks apiece. Oh. He's off stage, though. Okay, he barely gets back to the ledge. Huge for Shabba. That could have been his entire stock. Yeah, and Polish, honestly, getting hit by a, like, max height drill He's near dead. the edge. Yeah. Wow. That whole stock, a little bit of a tragedy of errors. Like, you get hit by a max height drill from ledge, you need to be SDIing that. Like, it is 2019. And here's another drill. So much damage. And this is what the Fox mains love on this oh, stage. Oh, that down tilt. The ones from Champagne. They love juggling Peach, just sharking her from beneath when she's trying to land. She has no platforms, of course. Okay, getting another chain grab. Shabo mashing for his life. You can see the buttons being pressed on the right side of the screen. The wobbling is banned at this event. These chain grabs surely aren't. <laughs> for sure. Okay, nice spacing by Polish. We're both laughing a little bit. This is going to last stock, and even though Shabo's got a 64% lead, Polish is one grab away from taking the lead. Just nares him out of his double jump. That shine will take it, That's yeah. That's going to do it. We saw the damage from before. Polish showed that uh, he could not get off the ledge that well against Shabo. Mm -hmm. And because of that, he was like, I have to go onto stage, shined right in the face, and that's the end of game one. Yeah, furthermore, Polish actually mixing it up. The time before that, he went to ledge. Remember, I, I was like, oh, Shabo, go to ledge. And you were like, well, Peach can't really get up from the ledge. Yeah. That last time there, Polish was like, I can't go to ledge. Shabo's going to call me out for it. And Shabo, you could say stubbornly, but he, he was one step ahead of Polish. And this is just what I was saying, as, as interesting as it is that Shabo was willing to strike here, Polish takes us right back. This is the best of five. There's no bans. So Polish got to strike to the stage he most wants to play on, loses the game anyway. Yeah, I mean, we saw in the Ginger versus Polish set last week that Polish is going to go to final destination. Mm -hmm. um, it does not matter what else is currently happening in the set. Against fastballers, that's, that's a given. That's where he's going. So, you know, I can respect that. Um, and he's just going to ride or die on this stage. But right now he's getting a little bit worked. Yeah, he's doing a little bit more dying than riding, as it turns out, for <laughs> yeah. now. Shabo looking really clean. Shabo's had a little bit of a run himself to get this far. I know he beat Zamu at some point. He also beat Fluid in uh, the last set of losers to make it to top oh, eight. That's what happened to my boy. That's Shame. Right. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a 3-0, as it turns out. Whew. So Fluid with ninth place, so shouts to him. Yeah.
Getting ninth again, no wobbling at this tournament, so any Ice Climber player able to get ninth at a regional as stacked as this. To give you guys perspective, I know you guys might not all have seen the brackets. Oh, wow. Great shine out from Shabo. Rick got 17th Ooh. of this. Yeah. Rick was seated like third or fourth, and he got 17th. That's how stacked this is. We've had a couple upsets. Top eight is kind of crazy. And Polish has had two really good stocks. Earning wow. the lead back. Polish's spacing is, is something to admire, man. I'm he's constantly impressed by the way that he's able to adapt his game plan and just space his moves really well. Like, it can't be understated. Oh, no punish for Polish. Yeah, he's become one of the most improved players in the Midwest over the past year. Nair to dash attack. Shabo just trying to put together a combo here. Weird follow-ups. Yeah, he gets away with it. Crouch cancels an up smash, and he's only down a stock now. Yeah. He's going to need to avoid the grab, though. We're going to need to see how well uh, Shabo is able to keep himself out of the corner. You know, you love to laser. It's a little bit of a curse sometimes. You run yourself into the corner and get grabbed. He's doing a great job right now holding center, That's but Polish got his opening. And this is, uh, this is, oh, wow, he gets out of there. Yeah. Shabo with one more chance, but gets re-grabbed immediately. Kind of panic full jump drills, full drift in from the corner. And it's hard not to, but this could be a shine. No, he yeah. doesn't get it. Dude, there's some sick part of me that when I'm watching the chain grab, I love to see the moment they stop mashing. The like moment where they just die a little bit on the yeah, inside. Yeah, they're just they like, just, I'm they accept it. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful. Oh, the Duraki. Yeah, that was nice. It is just a little bit too easy for players or characters like Peach and Pikachu to get that chain grab. There's not much counterplay on the Spacey's part, but Shabo willing himself into a last sock situation, down 137%. What can he do here? He's looking to just not trade with Peach. Peach is so good at trading. Mm -hmm. He wants to hit probably only with shines and grab combos. Like yeah. that back air even was a little risky. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, this is a little scary. You got to know that that air dodge is coming. Polish does not want to get shines. And, and jabbing, that's it. Jabbing a Peach at 40%. Not your best idea, like mm -hmm. when the game was on the line, but it was a great effort to get there. Um, and he's going to feel pretty good about his game plan. Yeah. Coming back in that game and heading to a good stage, probably Pokemon Stadium. Gonna yeah. feel good about that one. Polish evens it up, but just like you said, Shabo is looking really good, and Peach's punish game is not gonna be nearly that free on any other stage, so Polish is gonna have to work a bit harder on a stage like Pokemon Stadium for game three. All right, so we're seeing our game in Pokemon Stadium. I'm expecting a lot of lasers, but as we can see, when Polish jumps, the lasers kinda come off. Shabo's a little bit afraid of getting his shield hit. You know, Peach has very plus aerials on shield. And you really want to worry about Ooh. getting into situations like this. Polish crouch cancels that at 62. Back air not Double. safe. Double. I love how he dropped his float there to get that last back air, and Polish stealing the lead, game three. Oof. Yeah, Shabo just trying to find ways in, but we can see the crouch cancel is such a powerful tool. It's still working, even into the 70s now. My understanding was that it wasn't supposed to work past 40%, but Polish is finding a way to make it work. Well, Shabo know, evening it up. Crouch cancel and SDI down, two very different things. You know, Polish is not just running around with holding the left stick down, or the yellow stick. Yeah. He is just sitting in place and crouching, waiting for Shabo to come to him. And that can be extremely deadly. Polish but is continuing to get amazing SDI on these up airs, and you gotta wonder at what point will Shabo consider just going for up throw back air for the guaranteed percent. Yeah, Peach the Queen of Trades right there. Fox starts up a combo, Nair right out of it, get the stock. How can Shabo kind of redevelop his game plan? I wanna see more of the gun, more of the speed. Because mm -hmm. right now it feels like he's attacking where Polish wants him to. And that's not a good look for the faster character. Another more SDI. Great SDI, yeah. Leaving a lot of percent on the table. Good stuff to Polish, but it's hard not to give it a shot when you know the up air would kill. For sure. It could be worthwhile to see Shabo go for um, a more delayed up air, get further into Peach's body, because yeah. you know that Polish is just mashing that SDI. He's not really going to be air dodging out of a potential up air. Yeah, I mean, when they get the SDI good enough, sometimes it's just something you got to deal with, man. Like, you just juggle them afterwards, and that's the life of Fox. Shabo fighting his way back towards center stage. Defensive Nair. He's, oh, he didn't go out there. He faked me out. <laughs> yeah, he threatened it, but goes back. Looked like he wanted to bait out a side B. Doesn't get it. Shabo full drifting in with full hop, and Polish is too ready for it. Yeah, uh -oh, oh, hold on a second. He wow, goes he all in. Does it? Oh, wait a second. Okay, he get barely gets away. Yeah. Shabo somehow turning this around and finding a lead late game three, and this is huge. That was a pivotal interaction. Yeah. Shabo was playing from behind all game, and now all of a sudden, Polish now having to find a way back into this. Oh, more great SDI, man. Yeah. 
Especially with that low of a percent. These up airs are not working for Shabo. Yeah, this is what I like from Shabo. He's running away, he's lasering, and then coming in at the right angles. Polish's SDI is absolutely insane. It's keeping him in the game. Imagine how much more percent he would have taken. But but he doesn't get the, the most important one on last stock. Wow. That uh, last minute of game three was all Shabo. Yeah. And I mean, I think the big thing was he just stopped approaching into bad areas. Like, he brought out the gun a little more and forced Peach to work. You know, mm -hmm. force her to move to you. Yeah, he just had so much momentum. Once he went all the way off stage, called out that float and got that shine, that was huge. Yeah, big momentum shift. And it was so close. Polish almost had the parasol to bring and like drag Shabo down into the abyss with him, but yeah. it barely didn't work out for Polish. He will be taking us seemingly to Fountain. Fountain. He seems like the type of Peach that would like Fountain more than Dreamline. Yeah. Close space, lots of down smashes. Shabo can abuse that space quite we well. Go. Polish wants to force these interactions. Yeah, Polish unfortunately got a dash attack on that tech chase. Couldn't get the follow up. Or wanted a dash attack, got an F tilt. Oh, that's a little bit too telegraph right there. And goes for the Nair. Calls out Shabo DIing away. Mm -hmm. Polish, an even game. he positioned himself in a perfect position to cover that very up B angle, but wasn't able to get anything out in time. That that's trade a bad will trade. benefit Polish. Shabo's yeah. able to get back. Let Polish pull that turn up and basically use aerials in place. Shabo ran right into it. Yeah. Polish takes the lead. Shabo with that back air. Another trend I'm noticing is oftentimes when Shabo's in the corner, look at this, he's always full jumping out of the corner and Polish is reading that nine times out of 10. Yeah, and the thing is Armado is so good at getting those up air reads, mm -hmm. but you have to be real close to do that. Yeah, and you have to be willing to super call it out because if you're wrong, all of a sudden Fox has all the positioning in the, in oh. the world and you're in the corner. Oh, okay, Polish had the right idea, but wasn't able to convert. Yeah, we're noticing that Polish seems to know what to do, but he's missing a little bit of his execution now. There, there it is. is. Calls out the roll. What and this time, grab. yeah, he waits out the jabs, and he gets the up throw up air. No SDI from Polish that time. He was at a, Yeah, at 100%, with that like, to have the cojones to shield grab, like, the Nair. Mm -hmm. After the, their jab Nair, or Nair jab, it's just like... Very ballsy. Like, if a down smash comes out, Shabo's super dead. Just as you say it. And you have to call Peach out for that kind of thing, because Peaches love to land on your shield and then go for the mix-up after the flow cancel with those jabs. If you wait him out, that is your shield grab. Okay. Wow, the Another full again. jump, yeah. full drift in, and Polish is punishing that every single time. Coast I'd love to see Shabo game. threaten that, but pull back at the last second or something, but Polish with so much momentum, he goes off stage with the Nair. Is he ever going to go out there? Oh my oh gosh! My God, he just just movement! But Shabo barely magnet handsing back, finding a grab. Oh my god. That's goodness. it for the stock. Again, Shabo just wants to fight Polish on Polish's terms. That he does. Polish one stock away from bringing us to a game five. This is losers, guys. Loser of this set is taking home seventh place that we need some space too. Polish gets that down air. Oh, does it go for the back air edge guard? I've seen Armada do that so many times. Instead mm -hmm. goes for the down smash. Shabo yep. gets back. That was a really good angle from Shabo. Nice pullback aerial, and that up smash will do it. Polish quite amused by it. Yeah. He gives this little grimace, though, after he smiles. You know, it's clear that, like, it's not, it's it's GG on the outside, but it's BG on the inside, you know? Parzival, this could be Polish's last stock after a stellar performance Again. last week in Chicago. He's he could be taking seventh place. He needs to hit those edge guards. Shabo back on the stage, fighting his way out of the corner. Polish. Trying to be a bit more patient here, but Polish on the offensive, covering Polish. center stage in the top platform. Dude, Again! Baiting him. Is he going to go Shabo. out there? He didn't go for no, it. No, he misses the ledge dash, and we're going to a game five. Game five, just like that. But if you're from PGH, you take that Polish, the lone PGH representative left he in this PGH? bracket. Yes. I was right. Let's go. Well, he's like, he's a little bit MDVA. He's a little bit PGH. I was half right then. OK. He's he's about, oh, Jungle Jace for game five. I'm down. Well, I'd be so Peach down. would get destroyed. You think so? Dude, Fox is lasering and side beaming to the other side. You know, you could if, side be on the yeah. other side. If Shabo's yeah. got that tech, he seems like the kind of Fox that I've, has that tech. I've got that tech. If I've got <laughs> that tech, he's got that tech. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be Shabo's counter pick. you got to think it's probably going to come down to either Yoshi's or Battlefield's. He's got a big boy decision to make. Honestly, Yoshi's is like with great power comes great responsibility. It's so know? scary, though, because you're, you're forced to just squabble with Peach the entire time. And... At least on Battlefield, you can run away, you can get I the mean, gun out a little bit. It's the best stage. I also feel like it's super important because up throw up air has been SDI'd every time, which means you need your regular moves to kill, like sure. back air and there. And uh, I like that'll that. help a lot. And I think that, you know, Polish has been edge guarding overall pretty well. So the small blast zones for Fox, they don't hurt as much as they normally would. Okay. Like he's dying at around the same percent every time anyway. 
Shepard yeah. looked like he tried to bait that, but didn't position himself quite well enough. Oh my goodness. What, what a up pickup air. from Polish. Wow, what a... Look what at a, the options he co he's covering. A lot of coverage, yeah. He yeah. missed that up air, but immediately lands and gets the grab immediately. Oh my gosh, is that it off the side? Barely not. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Like, those those edge guards are coming out quick. True. But Shabo has an opportunity to get a kill here, too. What a shine! Get the legend. Yep, that's it. Yeah, Randall was on the other side. Nothing he could do there. Nowhere to be found. <laughs> so back and forth here. Game five between these guys. Yeah, what a first set of top eight. Shabo stands straight up. Oh, going for that up air, very risky. If a down smash comes out when you miss, you're going to take a lot of damage. This could be huge. And again, in a lot of these spots when Polish is at low percent off stage, he's opting for the air dodge back on, and we haven't seen oh Shabo call him out for that. Trade? No! He misses. What an angle. That is what an angle. a fantastic angle, but a really unfortunate flub from Polish, throwing away one of his four stocks in this last game of the set. Shabo with so much momentum, just like at the end of game three. Dude. That spacing. Tech, dude. Wow. spacing and the coverage was crazy. I can't believe how quickly he covered that. Like, every time Shabo aerials in, he is getting oh destroyed. Wait, Off the top at 82%, that's why we're on Yoshi's. It Polish is down to his last stock of the bracket. Yeah. Now what? Couldn't cover that. That movement was so threatening. So much 53. damage. Polish trying to oh call out the full goodness. jump from the corner. Shabo he is experiencing pre Peach Crouch Cancel right now. Like, every single move he does is getting Crouch Canceled or hit out of the air. It feels like Shabo just wants to find a way in, like it's primal urge, but he mm -hmm. just can't get it. Polish with a grab. Shabo offstage goes to top platform, and Peach too slow to cover it. Shabo nares in, and this... He takes the back air. Takes okay, he percent. takes the percent. Finally, there's the air dodge, and he finally calls it out, and that is going to be the set. Yep. Shabo. Three more seconds before Randall comes out, and Shabo takes it. 3-2. Every single Shabo set I commentate is like a COBOL set. It's extremely stressful. Yes. But he gets the job done. Man, that was incredibly stressful, but amazing adaptation from him taking the back air percent and waiting out that air dodge finally for the first time in the set and sealing the set with a shine. Good stuff to Shabo. Yeah. Polish had an incredible run this tournament and last week in Chicago, but that will end today. Seventh place. Still I very will respectable say I place. I definitely it. saw Polish's like B or C game. And uh, he still played, placed, placed very admirably. Yeah. There are a lot of good players at this tournament who did not make top eight. It's rough because you have, like, arguably the best tournament run of your career, at least up there, like top two, top three performances that we've seen from Polish. And it's hard because you, you might have these newer expectations, but it's, it's nearly impossible to replicate your S game at any given event. But Polish still very respectable seventh place. Again, we had 150 entrants here, and... A ton of killers didn't even make it nearly this far. Oh, for, yeah. For instance, Travioli, amazing player. Uh, he got, um, I think, 13th at this.